Minnesota and um, I'm here to look at a truck, but it's not just any truck. This is a special truck that I think we're going to be using to pull the fifth wheel. So um, let's go check it out and see how it is. That silver truck right there, actually. This one, right? Yep. Yep, that's it. I'm meeting him there. So I just completed the transaction with the seller, gave him the cashier's check, and now we officially own this truck, and I am so excited. Let's show you around. So this is a Ford F-150 2014, and uh, this is a special F-150. That's why I had to come all the way to Minnesota to get it. Um, it's kind of like a heavy half-ton truck, and the reason for that heavy half-ton designation is that it has a special option package called the heavy duty payload package and it's it's very rare in f-150s and what it basically is is a few uh, key differences in the suspension and the frame of the truck so there's a much heavier duty axle um, heavier duty suspension I think it has four leafs instead of three um, and a few other tweaks uh, to the truck but the end result is is that it raises the payload of the f-150 from about um, uh, 1700 pounds to all the way up to around 2500 pounds. Now this particular truck, uh, this is a Lariat and it has all kinds of nice features like memory seats and things like that. So because of those added features, this truck's payload is 2200 pounds. But that's still really great because that'll allow us to tow a fifth wheel a lot more capably than a standard F-150 without having to go to like an F-250 or an F-350. So um, so now I just completed the transaction with the seller and uh, did the inspection. Before I even got here, the truck was inspected by a mechanic and uh, gave me the go ahead. There's a few issues. Um, uh, primary one is that the parking brake won't release, but I watched some stuff online that shows that that's a fairly straightforward repair to kind of ungum the parking brake. But I just got to not, remember not to use the parking brake on the way back to Texas now. Uh, so it's a really clean truck, uh, original owner, it's got only like 52,000 miles on it, and I'm um, really excited to use this to tow a fifth wheel. So let's just get on the road back to Houston. Um, it's only 1.30 here, and I'm hoping I can cover those miles, about 17 hours of total driving, so let's get going. Day two of driving. I just stayed at a hotel overnight in Kansas City, Missouri, and today I'm hoping to make up the rest of the miles and make it all the way home tonight. I got about 11 hours of driving ahead of me, um, so got my coffee and um, looking forward to getting started. So one question I know for sure that we're going to be asked about this truck is, why didn't you just get an F-250? You know, why are you getting the F-150? And short version is, is that Ashley prefers driving the F-150 over the F-250. Um, and I want her to be able to drive it and maybe even tow with it. So we're going to use the F-150 if we can. But uh, the longer version is there's a lot of reasons. You know, number one, um, we do like to explore downtown areas and urban areas as much as we can. And that's doable with a large three quarter tron or one ton truck. But, you know, you gotta plan it. You know, you gotta make sure you have adequate parking and things like that. It's not that it's gonna be easy with this F-150. Uh, it's still a full size truck. But, um, you know, just a few inches here and there smaller than those three quarter ton or one ton trucks makes all the difference in the world. So it'll be a challenge with this, but it's, it's more doable exploring those urban areas in this truck than in the larger ones. Um, second is, is that, like I mentioned earlier, Ashley's more comfortable driving this one, and that's huge. Um, third is that, you know, what we, our style of traveling is such that we really anticipate towing the fifth wheel to a destination or a, a place, a centrally located place near a bunch of destinations we want to go to, and then staying there for at least a week, maybe more often two weeks or three weeks in a place before we move on. And in that style of travel where we're not moving often, um, we're going to be using 
using this truck more as a, a means of just getting around town and um, exploring places than, uh, than using it as a tow vehicle. So we're gonna make sure that our tow loads are within the capabilities of this truck, but um, we also wanna have the efficiency benefits of having a smaller 3.5 liter engine and higher gas mileage when we're just out and about running errands without towing anything. And I guess I was gonna cap that at three, but I guess there's one, and there's one other reason, so there's a fourth reason why we wanted to go with this truck over the F250 or F350 or any, you know, uh, Chevy or Dodge uh, three quarter ton or one ton product. And that is that um, I love off-roading. Off-roading is so fun to me and I like getting out in the, in the sand or on trails or fire roads. And again, that's something that, you know, um, there is a F250 FX4 package. There's, um, I, we looked at the Sierra with the Z71 off-road package, the Sierra HD. So there are three quarter trunks trucks that are good off-road but again that added size of the three-quarter ton truck just like in urban areas how it's a problem when you're off-road having a larger vehicle is a challenge because um, you have uh, you know not as much room on your departure angles and approach angles on the front and back of the truck so when you're trying to get up a steep hill or come down a steep hill um, it can cause problems um, that's one issue actually with the Nissan Titan that we saw is that the, the approach angle and descent angle are not as good um, and also just overall size length width everything like that is um, is when you're trying to make tight cur turns on like hairpin mountain roads and things like that the smaller vehicle the better I mean obviously the Jeep Wrangler is the king of all that but you can't tow a fifth wheel with the Jeep Wrangler so this f-150 is I think the best compromise that allow us to do is a lot of the off-roading we want to do um, but it'll also tow a, tow a smaller fifth wheel. So those are the kind of the four main reasons that that we really like um, this F-150 and we're gonna give it a try with our fifth wheel. country store and restaurant so if you ever happen to be passing through here I highly recommend you stop there and try it out and I even got um, a apple hand pie to go to um, keep me going on this long drive back to Houston I'm in the middle of an 11 hour day and um, I've got about another three and a half hours to Dallas and then four hours about seven hours left in the day so I'll probably arrive at around 10 30 or 11 p.m. which is fine um, but the drive's going really well so far the truck's doing great I'm just enjoying listening to some podcasts and audiobooks and uh, looking at the scenery so right now the highway is passing through these lakes <clears throat> in southern Oklahoma and I'll update the video later with a caption showing what lake it is these lakes are absolutely beautiful and I'm gonna definitely look up what kind of uh, camping and um, beaches and boat rentals they have because I definitely want to come back here and visit. This is, I did not know this existed in Oklahoma and this is awesome. These lakes are absolutely beautiful. They're just huge and there's like rolling hills surrounding the lakes. Um, you can see a bunch of boats out there fishing and motor boating and man it's just really cool. Uh, you, you see things driving that you're like want to come back to. I wish I had the rest of the family with me and the, the RV with me right now and we could just stop here. It'd be so awesome. But we'll just have to come back someday. Just crossed the Red River uh, to make it back into Texas. Feels good to be back in my home state. And uh, you know, we still got about an hour to Dallas and then still have the Dallas to Houston drive. But um, at least the light is at the end of the tunnel. This has actually been a pretty enjoyable drive, to be honest, but, you know, 17 hours is 17 hours, so <laughs> um, just 
just uh, happy to be almost done and almost home. Just gonna stop in Dallas for dinner and then uh, get back on the road to go back to Houston. So I'm passing through Dallas on my way back to Houston and of course that means I've got to stop here and it was delicious and I'm really looking forward to seeing Ashley's reaction when I pull up to the house. Should I go see the truck? Should I go look at it now or do you want to take the video in the morning? Now. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> go hop in the driver's seat. Climb up. Climb. Get in and out. Okay, what do you think? Well. Look, there's, there's steps. Well, since all that's necessary. There's a built-in ladder. Use the step. <laughs> so crazy sounding too. Huh? Sounds crazy when you turn it on. Oh, it's a big, yeah, it's a big truck. Okay, what are your overall thoughts though? What do you, how do you feel sitting in the driver's seat? I mean, you know, inside it doesn't seem that, you know, as crazy, although I do definitely feel higher up. <laughs> it's when you're outside of it that you realize, like, that it's, yes. it's a chunk. Yes. Worth a shot? Yeah, I mean, I'm still a little bit nervous about driving it, but what are you going to do? <laughs> okay, we, so want, we want to have a fifth wheel to tow a house, so. Yeah. 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 So we want the fifth wheel, which we do. Yeah. We have to have this thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think we can take it for a test drive right now because Mara's sleeping inside, but um, I think we could wrap up this video and um, and I'll get some much needed rest. Yeah, you better get to sleep. Yeah. After all that driving. Well, I'm glad you weren't an immediate now. <laughs> can't be a no now. <laughs> We're committed. Drive back. Yeah, <laughs> go back to Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it. Good. I mean, it's in really good condition. It's yeah. just, you know, can I get used to driving it? Yeah. Yes, really you good. can. <laughs> okay. Okay. Looks good. I'm excited. Good. I want to see it in the daytime, though. Good. Well, we'll have to do some follow ups. Yeah, well, it's like 11 30 at night. Yeah. So. <laughs> so now we're back in Houston, and we've had a chance to use this thing for a few weeks now. Jerry's still out on if it's good for towing a fifth wheel yet, because we don't have a fifth wheel. But for driving around town, uh, using it as a truck, we really love it so far. Now, the specs say that it should tow the fifth wheel just fine, but we plan to have another video uh, once we do that, and I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you too. So for now, please uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already, like this video, and uh, leave a comment. And then um, look forward to that video of this thing towing a fifth wheel in a few weeks. See you next time.